After making a new note, if I tap the ellipsis button here, there's a lines and grids option presented. From here, I can apply any of these styles into the note. Notice that these are specifically for handwriting in your note. So if I add a set of lines, then tap inside the note to add some type text, that text will only appear above the set of lines. So let's activate markup, and I'll try to handwrite some text here. Even the set of lines with the tallest spacing are tough to use on an iPhone when handwriting with just a finger. Now let's switch this to a grid. This can help when making sketches to scale, and it's easier to draw lines or boxes with your finger than handwrite text. Where the Lines and Grids option really can be helpful is on an iPad with an Apple Pencil. In this example, I'm going to use the iPad in Portrait Orientation, then create a new note with a set of lines. This essentially turns the iPad into a notebook. With an Apple Pencil, it makes it easy to take handwritten notes, just like you would on notebook paper. With a grid applied, it's possible to make large sketches to scale with handwritten notes within it. And if you need to, you can always add type text above or below the set of lines or the grid. In Note Settings, we can set a specific style of lines or a grid to appear by default with every new note. So if you tend to mostly take handwritten notes using your iPad, this can be a good option. 